Hi guys, Brendan from Steve Sorensen Mechanical here. I um, just want to show all our customers um, some of the downsides of, of not servicing your car at the correct intervals. So particularly changing the oil is one of the, um, the you know, simplest things that get done as part of a service and can be quite costly if you try and push it too far. So um, I've got a Toyota Yaris here and um, the customer had a problem where the, the oil pressure light came on, check engine light came on at the same time which incidentally happens to be um, to do with the variable valve timing which relies on oil pressure so you know two birds one stone kind of thing but I've got the sump off the bottom of it so I just wanted to show you um, what happens inside an engine when the, the oil stays in there too long and doesn't get um, replaced in the correct intervals. Okay so here's inside underneath the engine so a very um, easy sump to get off the bottom of this one to have a look inside it. What you're seeing there is the oil pickup so it's kind of like a straw that sucks the oil up through the rest of the engine. You can see all this sludge this gunky black carbon that builds up and inside of that pickup if I can get you a good enough shot let's see if we'll get some focus you can just start to see the sludge starting to build up in the gauze there which basically instead of the gauze all being open it's going to be sucking just through that tiny bit there and the rest of it's full of sludge so you know imagine it is a straw this engine's really struggling to to suck up any oil and that's going to have massive consequences for all the lubricated parts inside can end up you know, thousands of dollars of, of expense. Um, luckily for this customer, as soon as that light came on, they, they got the car towed and got it to us so we could look, and um, we, we can take care of the problem by cleaning this pickup up. But it's it's not ideal, you know. There's still going to be um, carbon and sludge left in this engine. You'll never get all of that out. You, you could, you'd have to do a complete engine rebuild, you know. This is after we've already run an engine flush through the system, changed the oil, and then we've dropped the sump off to physically clean this. We're going to take that pickup up off and put it in our ultrasonic tank. So as mechanics we see it time and time again this sludge build up. Um, that's just a, a little look into what it looks like in the sump but you can sometimes see it in the top end as, as well if it's getting bad. So if you're ever looking at buying a car um, just take the oil cap off and it should be nice clean golden. Um, if you're starting to see that sludge build up it's a, around the oil cap area it's a very good indication that things aren't going very well inside there. Um, this isn't cars that are, that are neglected terribly, you know, so with manufacturers pushing out their, their intervals, um, some cars 15,000, 20,000 kilometres recommended between services, we're starting to see it more and more. So um, we recommend 10,000 kilometres between oil changes on the majority of cars. Um, if you're doing longer drives, so highway driving, that kind of thing, it's actually much better for it. So you, you can push the oil change out a little bit if you wanted then to that 15,000. But if you're just driving around town, um, doing a lot of stop start and that kind of thing, 10,000 is, is much better if you're looking at the longevity of the engine. The reason being, so what causes this sludge is um, when we start the car, everything's not up to temp properly and it, um, we get some byproducts getting past the pistons into the oil. It breaks down some of the chemicals that are in the oil. We get water buildup, just um, condensation that, that sits in the engine and it doesn't get time to get to the right temperature to burn that water off. Um, put these together you get a bit of a toxic cocktail going on in there and the oil um, has a very hard time doing its job and not turning to sludge. So a little bit of investment in, um, in servicing can save thousands of, of dollars down the track. Very lucky for this customer though, you know, they did the right thing as soon as that red oil light came on, um, got it towed into us and we should be able to take care of this one without too much drama. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.